Yo, it's your bro, Uncle E, and in this video, we're gonna level up your fight against vice. Today, we're gonna do a deep dive into the world of philosophy and tapping into the brilliance of legendary St. Thomas Aquinas. We're also gonna learn how to use virtue as a powerful weapon in our battle against addictions, bad habits, and all those filthy vices. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a powerful tool that you could use to apply these three supernatural virtues and overcome any obstacle in your way. Now, Thomas Aquinas was a 13th century Italian Dominican friar and theologian who was widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the development of Western philosophy. Now, Thomas Aquinas was deeply inspired by Aristotle himself. Aquinas took Aristotle's teachings about natural virtues to the next level by adding three theological or supernatural virtues to the mix. These supernatural virtues are like the ultimate superpower when it comes to kicking bad habits, breaking free from addictions, and overcoming any vice that steals life. So in this video, we're gonna dive deep into these three life-changing virtues. But first, what exactly is a virtue? Now, virtues are amazing habits or qualities that guide us to do the right thing. Aristotle said that there are two types of virtues, intellectual and moral virtues. Intellectual virtues are all about using our smarts, like wisdom and understanding. On the other hand, moral virtues are all about our character and behavior, things like being honest and brave. So Thomas Aquinas took Aristotle's natural virtues and leveled them up. He introduced three extra superpowered virtues known as theological or supernatural virtues, faith, hope, and charity. These virtues are like gifts from God that help us live holy and venerable lives. Let's start with faith, the first supernatural virtue. Faith is all about believing in God and what he teaches us. It's like the foundation of all the other virtues. Without faith, we can't even start a journey to living fully virtuous lives. So we gotta trust that God is real and he rewards those who genuinely seek him. Faith helps us have confidence in God's awesome plan for our lives and to believe that he loves us and is looking out for us. In the Our Father prayer, Jesus teaches us to say, deliver us from evil. Now, I know these words might be like super familiar to us, but we gotta pay attention to the deeper meaning of the message they carry, right? God the Father is all about setting us free from the traps of temptation and vice. He wants to lead us away from those dark paths that mess with our lives. And guess what? He doesn't just stop there. He transforms us into beloved children. We go from being slaves to sin to being showered with his grace and becoming heirs to his kingdom. So if you're having trouble trying to wrap your mind around this idea, let's take for a moment and think about our relationships with our own earthly fathers. Now I know this can be a challenge, but our past experiences with our earthly fathers can totally shape the way we perceive the heavenly father. And listen, I'm not saying we should throw shade at our dads if they were demanding, distant, or even absent. But here's the thing, those experiences can actually help us understand why we might struggle to trust not only our earthly dads, but also God the Father. Sometimes we've been let down or hurt in the past and that can make us super hard for us with any trust in any father, even God himself. So it's all about recognizing how our past can affect our present, right? Well, God the Father totally gets our doubts. So he wants to show us that he's faithful and reliable. He's like the opposite of a distant or uninvolved dad. And if you really and truly wanna be set free from the death grip that addiction has on your life, you gotta believe that God also wants that for you too. And he wants to help you achieve it. So let's take a moment and ask God the Father to open our eyes to what a true father is like and have faith that he can and will set you free from any vice if you ask and believe. The second supernatural virtue that Aquinas dropped on us is hope. And let me tell you, hope is like the ultimate power up in this crazy game of life. Where faith is all about belief in God as a loving father, hope is all about having a solid belief and confident expectation that God is gonna come through for you with his promises. Even in those darkest moments when it feels like everything's falling apart, hope reminds us that God is working behind the scenes to turn things around for our good. Think about it. Hope is what keeps us going when things get tough. It's that fire on the inside that says, I'm not giving up. We face adversity head on knowing that we're not alone on this journey. We trust that God's plan for us is nothing short of amazing. Here's a quick story I heard that might help you understand. One night, I dreamed a dream. 
I was walking alone on the beach with my Lord. Across the dark sky, there appeared scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one belonging to my Lord. When the last scene of my life shot before my eyes, I looked back at the footprints in the sand and there were times when I only saw one set of footprints. Then I realized that these were the lowest and saddest times of my life. And this bothered me immensely and I questioned the Lord about my dilemma. Lord, you told me that if I followed you, you'd walk and talk with me along the whole way. But I'm aware that during the most troublesome times of my life, there was only one set of footprints in the sand. I just don't understand that why, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. Then he whispered, my precious child, I love you and I will never leave you, especially during those times of trial and testing. When you saw only one set of footprints in the sand, it was then that I was carrying you. Now, before I share the third and final supernatural virtue for destroying vice and dominating life, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. It goes a long way in helping me fulfill my mission of making men strong again, so thank you. Now, the third and final supernatural virtue that Aquinas added is charity. And charity is also known as love, and it's the greatest of all virtues. It's the selfless love that God has for us and that we're called to have for others. This might sound crazy, but it's precisely because God loves us that he doesn't just want to save us from our vices. He wants to save us through our vices. It's like having an earthly dad who sees his son getting beat up by the neighborhood bully. The vice is your bully. What does the dad do? He takes that bully, drags him back to the house, and he sets up a showdown right there in the yard. It becomes like a training ground for his son. The dad lets the bully take swings at his son. But each time, he steps in and teaches his son how to fight back. It's all about building confidence and skills, my man. Now let's apply that to our lives. Our bad habits don't define us. They're not the end of the story. In the Father's grand plan, they actually refine us. It's like our bad habits become our training partners. God doesn't just magically remove them from your life. No, he uses this whole cycle to train us to fight to grow and to become our strongest selves. He's fathering us from failure to faithfulness, my friends. It's about realizing that freedom comes at a price. It requires effort and commitment. Otherwise, we wouldn't value it, right? Now, I get it, the struggle is real, but this is also a crucial part of the instruction. The journey is tough, but the rewards are worth it, my friends. So let's embrace the struggle, keep fighting, and trust that God is shaping us into the strongest version of ourselves through the cycle of vice. You've got this. So if you haven't figured it out, supernatural virtues are not about something you earn by your hard work. Those are the natural virtues and we'll talk about that next time. It's about getting out of the way and allowing God's grace to shape you, mold you, and teach you how to fight those vices till they're gone for good. It's the power of surrendering. And if you're anything like me, it's probably the toughest thing that you can do. Now understand, your strength alone can't overcome vice. Your effort is insufficient without the help of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now I promise that at the end of this video, I will give you a powerful tool that you can use in order to start using these virtues and dominating your life by destroying your vices. So if you're still with me, here it is. Pray this prayer with me and pray it as many times a day for as many days, weeks, and years that you need to until that bully of bad habits is beat for good. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I confess that apart from you, I cannot overcome this vice. In the name of Jesus, I repent of this sin, and I ask you forgiveness, and I surrender my life to you. Guide me to true freedom by your power and grace. Amen. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch the previous two videos in this Breaking the Vice Cycle series. And in the next video, we're gonna dive into the five powerful natural virtues that you're gonna develop and deploy to actively destroy every filthy vice in your life. Done.